What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to the channel. You guys already know what we do here, man. We break down scary and creepy videos, man, on the net, on the web, from YouTube videos to TikTok videos to IG videos, anything weird, usual, and explained you can find right here on this channel. Just want to thank the Seekers, man, who's been tapping in with us, man, subbing up to the channel. Greatly appreciate that, man. You're seeking the truth just like you. That's why you found us today, man. Found this video for you guys today, man. So let's do what we do best, bro. Seek the truth. Four of the Nevada bullies arrested over the horrific mass attack outside a Las Vegas school that resulted in the death of 17-year-old Jonathan Lewis Jr. are being tried as adults at the start of a trial which could see them jailed for life. 16-year-old Dontrell Beaver and Trevian Randolph and 17-year-old Damian Hernandez and Gianni Robinson are among eight schoolmates accused of beating Lewis to death outside Rancho High School in Las Vegas on November 1st. In court, prosecutors said they were charging the teens with second-degree murder instead of first-degree murder because they could not prove premeditation, but that they continue to go through the evidence. I don't understand how an art... Seekers, bro. It's freaking crazy, man. You can't even get into a... You don't even get into a fight nowadays, bro, because this is not worth it because the freaking unthinkable... The unthinkable can happen, man. Like, all those freaking kids, bro. And the freaking school fighters, bro, man. I see my freaking share of freaking school fights, man. But they didn't end in that type of way, man. But nowadays, bro, the world's crazy. It's not even freaking worth it, bro. If you're in a situation, just try to walk away, man. Because, see, because you never know what's going to happen. Argument over breadcrumbs can cause someone to do something so heinous to someone else. 35-year-old Dimitri Fricano stabbed his girlfriend, 28-year-old Erica Pretty, to death after she called him out for leaving breadcrumbs on their hotel bed. In 2017, they were on vacation in San Teodoro when on one of those nights, Dimitri attacked Erica and stabbed her 57 times. Dimitri was originally sentenced to 30 years in prison, but what happened next, no one saw coming. You see, when Dimitri Dimitri was sentenced in 2018, he weighed about 260 pounds. Mm. Then from 2022 to 2023, Dimitri gained 200 pounds and now weighs about 450 pounds. So because of his health and the horrible diet served in prison, Dimitri was recently released after only serving five years. The court ruled that the food in the prison could end up killing him, so he had to get out. And get this, Dimitri will serve the rest of his sentence under house arrest at his parents' home near Milan where he can get access to a healthy diet. So this is a slap in the face to the victim's family. But keep in mind, this happened in Italy, so I'm guessing the laws over there are a little bit more lenient. So if you guys think his release was valid or should he have been kept there for the remaining of a sentence? A man has been... See, because that has to be one of the freaking most craziest cases I've heard, bro. Oh, some freaking bread comes, man. You do the unthinkable. Really? Of a bread comes in the freaking bed, man. And the freaking, yeah, like I said, shock to me, bro. He got freaking got out, man, on freaking house rest, bro. All because he said he was gaining weight. Like, what the hell? She said that's the type of Italy. She said it happened in Italy. And so the laws may be more lenient, bro. I'm going to have to check that out, man, because that doesn't make no sense. Like him gaining all that freaking weight. And they just said, oh, no, we got to, you got to um, let you up because you can freaking end up. And it at all, man, because you gave it too, too much weight. And he just letting him go and just let him serve the rest on house arrest? That don't sound right to me, Seekers. What do you guys think, man, about that case? I know that's going to get y'all guys' minds turning. Been arrested for indecent exposure after pleasuring himself at a come-and-go gas station. Officers, however, weren't able to catch the man in the act after he took the name of the fuel station a little too literally. Customers identified Kenneth Kelly as the perpetrator, and when the police went to his house with surveillance footage, he confirmed that he had clothes matching the suspect, but denied being the man in the video. Eventually, Kenneth admitted it was him and claimed he wasn't actually playing with himself, but was just scratching his genitals. Did you know that Gino to I didn't even know there was a freaking gas station something called Come and Go. Like, he took the freaking name literally and just did that freaking disgusting act, man. But even if that's the name, you should know never to do something like that freaking public secret, man. There's no way There's no way out of that one, bro. You can't talk your way out of that one, man. People need to think, bro. Use their head before they do dumb situations, man. Campo actually served time in prison. Many people in the UK absolutely love Gino, who is well known for appearing on daytime television. Mm. However, many people don't know that he does have a criminal past. 
This true crime case honestly reads like a bizarre fan fiction. In 1998, way before he ever appeared on ITV's This Morning, Gino was 21 years old. He was an unknown waiter living in North London. Mm. He broke into the home of well-known 80s singer Paul Young. He was known for having hits such as Wherever I Lay My Hat. Gino stole Paul's guitar collection, which was reportedly worth around £4,000. He also stole his platinum disc. Mm. Police investigating the crime found that Gino had actually unknowingly left his DNA at the crime scene. He dropped a cigarette butt with his DNA on it. They were able to match this DNA to Gino and he was sentenced to two years in prison. Mm. Gino actually reached out to Paul personally to apologize to him just prior to entering the I'm a Celebrity Jungle back in 2009. Gino stated that he was involved with the wrong people back then and was on the wrong path. This was the photo of a That's man who was sentenced to 20 years in prison simply because he looked like someone else. He was charged for armed robbery simply because police officers couldn't tell them apart. He later met the man who actually committed the crime while in prison. Nah, seekers, you gotta freaking hear that, bro. You gotta freaking put in jail just because you look like the person who did it and because they, the police, didn't want to freaking do their jobs. You ended up, ended up meeting the actual guy who did it, bro. Hell no, man. They're gonna have to be some. They're gonna have to do something, man, to make that right, bro. Just because you look like a person, man, who did it, bro, and the police didn't do their jobs. None of the freaking years of his life probably got wasted, seekers crazy case man i told you man when i watch these speaking videos with you guys i always expand my mind hopefully it does the same with you guys as well this your chin mama do this and put it on your chin <laughs> this is samantha charby and her daughter vian mangrio sadly they are no longer here with us today they lived in burnley uk they had a beautiful loving mother and daughter relationship vian's father living in pakistan vian was only 14 but both her parents were very proud of her because she already had plans to go to cambridge and study law saman had hired a man named shabazz khan to do some handiwork around the house but he did more than just handiwork on the day of october 1st 2020 the bodies of saman and vian were found when police decided to go to their house for a welfare check police launched an investigation and found that the handyman on cctv was there that day. 52 year old Shabazz mm. Khan was then arrested. He had laced Saman's rose wine with diacetyl before ultimately strangling her. A little while after that, at 3 25 p.m., Vianne was coming home from school, and when she arrived into the house, Khan drugged her and ended her life too. Mm. To throw him off as a suspect, Khan tried to make it look like the bodies were set on fire by the tea kettle, but had trouble doing so. So instead, he started to write on the wall, COVID-19 and my mom is evil, to make it look like the two mother and daughter didn't like each other and had a falling out. Luckily for autopsy, it showed that that wasn't the case and that Saman passed away from pressure on her neck while her daughter's body was so badly burned that they could only say that she died of asphyxiation. In Khan's loft, they found jewelry worth 27,000 pounds that belonged to Saman. Khan was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 34 years. While his wife who also tried to lie about his whereabouts to the cops was jailed for 30 months always be careful on who you allow in your home oh no 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 silly to try it but it exploded and they were both found dead she You can't replace children, but you can replace the effect that they give you. Children are so easily conceived. I didn't form a pattern as most, but blood is blood. It's crazy, serious. Giants? See, because you believe in giants? his freaking head bro it's like he just freaking broke and just went on a freaking spree man all those damn people bro seekers what possesses people to do freaking things like that man the world is a freaking evil place seekers bro always got to be aware of our surroundings man because you never know what could happen 
That was freaking crazy, bro. All those people. What hmm. would you do if you saw a severed foot in the sand? Hi, my name is Ethan, and trigger warning, this is a dark case. In 2007, a woman was walking alongside a beach in British Columbia, and she noticed a pair of shoes on the beach. When she walked up closer to it, she noticed there was a sock in the shoe, and inside that sock was a human foot. And what's crazy is that wasn't the only one. By the end of 2008, there had been a total of six times where severed feet had washed up on shore from five men and one woman. They were actually able to identify one of the man's foot, but they believe that he had unalived himself. And for the other five individuals, it still remains a mystery to this day. Some think it was a plane crash, while others believe it was the 2004 tsunami, but no one will ever truly know. Animals that can... Seekers, man, what do you guys think about that, bro? Like, you freaking walking along the beach and you just found a severed, like, leg? Along the way, man? And that shit is still unsolved to this day, bro. Was it a tsunami? Or, like, they said it could have been something else, bro. I'm gonna have to check on that one, Seekers, bro. That's a weird one. An unusual one as well, man, that they couldn't solve that kill themselves. Up first are mountain sheep. These sheep evolved to have incredibly strong horns that can take out any animal. However, their horns are actually the cause of their own death too. As their horns grow, they begin to penetrate their own neck. And as time passes, they continue to grow further and further. Until eventually, it kills them. Then we have deer. During mating season, many deer get into aggressive fights, and every time they do, they risk a horrible death. When they fight, their horns can get interlocked with the horns of other deer. Unless someone is able to shoot their horns to break them, they're stuck until they eventually die of starvation and thirst. Then we have turtles. If a turtle ever rolls over or falls on its back, it's impossible for it to get upright again. Like deer, unless another turtle or human can get them upright again, they die of starvation. Top three largest. Hmm, man, you didn't even think about that, man. You know, when people see freaking turtles on their back, they think, oh, so cute and stuff like that. But, bro, that's really like a life or death situation, bro. I didn't even think about it like that, man. And the thing about dares too, bro. Get freaking in a loop, man. And you saw that man he was just dragging that freaking body, bro. Nature, bro. It's full of freaking bizarre things, man. I didn't even think about secrets, bro. Expanding my knowledge, bro. Best animals of all time. Number three, Megalodon. The Megalodon was a massive prehistoric shark species that existed approximately from 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Fossils suggest that the Megalodon could reach lengths of up to 18 meters, making it one of the largest and most powerful predators in vertebrate history. Its large, sharp teeth are often found fossilized and serve as a testament to the shark's predatory capabilities. Although there are no true photos of the Megalodon due to its prehistoric era, Artistic depictions and photos of fossilized teeth and jaws give us an idea of its colossal size. Okay. Number two, blue whale. The blue whale holds the title of the largest animal currently living, mm. and perhaps the largest that has ever existed. Measuring up to 30 meters in length and weighing up to 200 tons, mm. their size is truly awe-inspiring. These marine mammals are known for their distinctive blue-gray color and powerful, impressive calls, which can be heard over... You will not believe the horrific things that this woman allegedly did with her dog. This is Brittany McClure, and up until a couple of weeks ago, she lived a completely normal life. Brittany is from Michigan here in the United States. She had a boyfriend, and everything seemed to be going great in her life. That is, until her boyfriend decided to check on some of the security camera footage from a camera that he had installed inside of the couple's home. Apparently, Brittany's ex-boyfriend had noticed that there had been some movement in the living room in the middle of the day, so he went to go check the footage. And when he went to go watch the footage, he could not believe what he was seeing. As he watched in horror, he saw his own girlfriend, Brittany, performing a act on the dog using her mouth. And she was doing this with a massive smile on her face. And when she was finished, she tried to get the dog, the couple's dog, to perform the same act on her. 
The detective that's investigating this case noted that while this was going on, Brittany was saying words like, good boy. The detective even stated that in two decades of police work, he had never seen a video quite like the one the boyfriend brought into him. Now, Brittany was arrested and charged with a number of different things. Obviously, this is considered animal abuse, and this case is just being brought to trial or whatever the process is right now. So we're going to find out more about all of Brittany's devices and exactly what she's been doing to her dog in the house. But I just cannot believe this story, and I cannot even fathom what her boyfriend must have felt when he just went to go check the security camera video and saw that absolutely disgusting, shocking, horrifying, and yeah, just ugh. Seekers, that's freaking yeah, like you said, one of the most bizarre cases I've ever heard as well, man. Like, to do that to your own freaking dog? Bro, what the hell is going through her mind, man? Like, the boyfriend, like I said, right there, the boyfriend's probably like, what the f did I just watch, bro? And she was saying, good boy, disgusting, man. Like, ain't no whole freaking relationship, bro. Why would you do that to your freaking dog? At least people in the day seekers, bro, like I said, man, they be getting crazy, bro. What do you guys think about that freaking case? Molly Lee was born in Burslem in England in about 1685. She was known mm -hmm. for being very ugly and so never married and was shunned by the town. It was said that she had an adult mind and abilities from birth. She was able to eat a crust of bread just a few hours after being born and would not drink her mother's milk. She was also known for her temper and did not have many friends apart from a blackbird which followed her about everywhere. Mm -hmm. She didn't attend church often so Parson Spencer, who was the rector of the local church, hated her. Apparently after declaring her a witch, all the beer in the local pub turned sour. After he shot at her bird, it flew away and he had stomach pains for the next few weeks. After Molly was dead and buried, the locals paid a visit to her home. Apparently they saw her sitting by the fire and knitting. Parson Spencer then dug up her body and rotated it 90 degrees. Which one? Five things I guarantee you didn't know about gorillas. The sound of them beating their chest is something no words can possibly ever prepare you for. This 300 to 400 pound live action Donkey Kong is afraid of insects like caterpillars and reptiles, especially chameleons. Okay. Baby gorillas will play with almost anything but hit the brakes immediately the moment they see this. Same dude y'all thought could do something with Godzilla gets sent packing by his mini Now ain't that a bit. On top of mm -hmm. that, gorillas hate water and they really hate rain. If a troop of gorillas gets caught in a storm, they'll just sit motionless and wait for the rain to pass. If there's a cave or some shelter nearby, they'll go ahead and hide in it too. Which is weird because gorillas will walk through swamps and babies will play in water, but rain is where they draw the line. Gorillas bite as hard as grizzlies and twice as hard as lions. A motivated grizzly bear has a bite force of about 1,100 pounds per square inch. Streets say that's enough to crush a bowling ball. But gorillas have a bite force of 1,300 pounds per square inch. Damn. And who y'all call the king of the jungle is literally half as strong, checking in at 650. That mouthpiece is what helps them crush 40 pounds of vegetation every day. To digest it all, gorillas have a massive amount of bacteria in their gut, which also means gorillas are almost always constantly farting. No, but like seriously, they don't stop. If there's a family of gorillas nearby, best believe you're gonna smell them way before you see them. That's five facts you didn't know about gorillas. Comment what animal you want next. A case that... Seekers, man, what freaking those facts about gorillas that freaking shocked you, man? I think the one that got to me the most is like the freaking fighting power, bro. Saying that's more powerful than a bear or a damn lion. You wouldn't think that. It's interesting, bro. Or maybe, you know, they're saying the lion's the freaking king of the jungle, man. But it could be, actually, the gorilla could be, you know, up on the, up on the um, chain as well, bro. It's crazy, Seekers. Makes me sick. The murder of Kenneth White. These five teenagers was throwing rocks from an overpass. Eventually, one rock hit the windshield of White's car and hit his face. Parents warned us about. It's terrifying to think that a real human 
actually went through this. Angela Hammond was a mother from Clinton, Missouri, and in 1991, she was at a grocery store. And you know, back then, the general public didn't have cell phones, so she went to the payphone to call her fiancé, Rob. Rob says the conversation was going normal, but then Angela had said that there was this weird car that kept circling her and, like, driving around. So Rob, doing what any normal boyfriend, fiancé, husband would do, was like get out of there just go home we'll talk later so i guess that angela thought that he had left and so they continued talking but then angela says he came back then he hears her say something that i'm sure will haunt him for the rest of his life she says oh my god what am i gonna do he then hears angela scream and then he hears silence so rob panicked not knowing what to do he knows he could call the cops but it may be too late he hops in his car and drives across town to go find angela so while on his way there he hears someone screaming his name from a car going the opposite direction so rob hits a u-turn he sees a pickup truck and in a terrible twist of fate rob chasing down this car when his transmission goes out and angela is never seen or heard from again that's a freaking tragic case bro and it's freaking scary bro like back in the day yeah, like you said there's no i guess no mobile phones and stuff like that bro he had to freaking chase down do it himself man because he's i guess he's like you said i'm gonna call the cops because it was going they wouldn't have made it in time bro but they had that freaking transmission failed them man you know that haunting and power for the, for, for the rest of his life seekers, man. Like, bro, that's freaking insane, bro. You had to chase him down, bro, and the freaking transmission broke down, bro. Crazy. Whatever you do, never go searching for this video. These five friends were forced to kill each other by the Mexican cartel. These five young aged from 19 to 22 were looking for some sort of employment, and they were promised a high-paying job at a call center. But when the alleged contact was taking them to meet the people for the job, it actually turned out to be a whole scheme to recruit them to the Mexican cartel. And when all five of these boys said they didn't want to join, the cartel then said okay and tied them up, taped their mouth and took a picture and then recorded one of the friends killing all the other four friends and after that they put the fifth one who just killed all of his friends into a car and set it on fire i am telling you right now do not go searching for this video because you will find it and trust me you do not want to see something like this this case is absolutely horrific and the fact that this happens way more often than we think is just extremely scary and disturbing it's just sad that these young men were just trying to get a job and make some money for themselves. But instead, it turned into a living nightmare. Rest in peace, these five young men. Choose your friends' wives. They so didn't nice. cover that in the documentary! Ew! His father right? became obsessed with his competition and it eventually ended in murder. The modeling mm. industry is a stressful and competitive one. You can get turned down for jobs for not fitting into the clothes that they've picked out for you, showing up to your job with dark eye circles, acne, or cuts and bruises on your body. Mm. A London model named George Co. had become increasingly obsessed with a more successful model named Harry Uzuka. They both served the same niche, so in theory, they were both up for the same modeling jobs. Mm. Harry's career was doing very oh. well. He'd modeled for large brands like Everlane and Levi's, and he was signed to cities across the world, which in turn meant that he was working more and making more. George Coe was fairly successful as well. He'd been in a spread for Esquire and walked for Alexander McQueen. Mm. But modeling is contract work, which means you can be booked or busy, or you can go for a year without working. Mm. George was experiencing the latter. After seeing that Harry was more successful than him in the same city, George decided to start emulating his look and modeling style. But this went beyond a professional sense and George started messaging Harry's actual friends. Ooh. Harry took to Twitter to accuse George of copying him. But George took it one step further by claiming that he had slept with Harry's girlfriend who was also a model named Ruby Campbell. Mm -hmm. The men agreed to a showdown on January 11th, 2018 outside Harry's apartment where they would finally settle their differences. While Harry showed up armed with a metal pipe, George and his friends showed up with knives. Security cameras then showed George chasing down Harry and stabbing him. 
Jealousy is truly a disease, and rather than a focus on his own career, George decided to end both his and Harry's by committing murder. George Coe was sentenced to a minimum of 25 years behind bars, and it seems like the only jobs he'll be booking are interviews about the crime. It's crazy, Seekers, bro. Things, man, like she said, jealousy will do, bro. I can freaking make you think the unthinkable, man. That's why sometimes, bro, it's not best to think about what the other person got and stuff like that because it'll just drive you crazy. You'll be like, why does he or her, why does she got this stuff that I want but I don't, man? It'll just take you down the dark path, bro. Just focus on yourself. Try to improve yourself, man. Don't worry about the next person. Your time won't come, seekers, bro. Trust me. This viral video from an all-male college mm -hmm. in Madrid has shocked Spain. The video shows students at Elias Aoja staging a coordinated mass catcalling directed at nearby female students. Universidad Complutense de Madrid says the ringleader of the incident has been expelled and that a full investigation would take place. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez said mm. the footage was inexplicable, unjustifiable and disgusting. According to Publico, this isn't the first time this exact same thing has happened, with older students reportedly teaching younger students at the all-male college the chant in previous years. Mm. Irene Montero, Spain's Equality Minister, said it is an obvious sign that sex education is needed and that institutions must stop legitimizing sexist discourse. Serious, man. What do you guys think about that? That was freaking crazy, bro. Like, the freaking older students teaching the younger students that was chance, man. I don't think they, they should have been doing that, bro. Putting them on the dark path, bro. Like, to have that coordinated as well, man. They said the freaking ring leader got freaking expelled, bro. Now he ain't in college no more, bro. Can't do things like that, serious. Have you guys heard of the satanic Oreo theory? We all know mm -hmm. and love Oreos, right? But after this, you might not want to eat them anymore. If you look mm -hmm. at an Oreo cookie, you notice that there's symbols on top of every little cookie. The symbol looks closely related to the double cross eternal symbol. Now, from what we know, they supposedly put symbols in everything, including our cartoons, movies, and even on our food to pay tribute to Satan, right? Now, the mm -hmm. double cross eternal symbol represents the Leviathan symbol, which is a curse, a spell. Now, some people believe that they placed these symbols on the food you eat to curse or shall I say put a piece of Satan inside of you. you know sort of how in church you eat a piece of the bread which means you're putting a piece of Jesus inside of you mm. he's becoming a part of you by the way before we continue this story type amen in the comments the word off any evil spirits that come off this video the theory also states that the word Oreos originates from the ancient Greek and Egyptian term Oreos which just happens to be the Egyptian serpent that people used to worship and let's not talk about the super secret bunker that the Oreo company has built in Norway where they claim mm. to only be holding the formula to Oreo inside and I don't know if this theory is true I don't really think I believe it but it is a wild one what do you think is it real or are people Seekers, man. Well, we've been talking about this in the past couple of videos, man. How they be putting messages and things, and we just don't be paying attention to it. Not the head that they put those drums on Oreos, bro. You no, know, everybody love freaking Oreos, man. You wouldn't even pay attention to it. You're just thinking, oh, there's symbols. I'm just eating it. But is there more to that? We're gonna have to check that out, Seekers, man. <sighs> Gotta be careful about the days you eat now, too, bro. That's just freaking blowing my mind, Seekers. My parents send me out so, in the day. You all right? What are you doing? Just uh, doing Where's Joanna? interview. Joanna, I should hang out. She's around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Take care of her, all right? Okay. Do you understand? I love Joanna. We, Joanna. Jo Joanna. Who's the lady? What's up? Hand. How are you doing? Give me your hand. What the hell? Who's that guy? I don't know. Hey! Hey, your house is on fire! What? Your house is on fire here! What? Your house! What do you mean? I keep that with you. We 
Thanksgiving a few days ago and my jaw mm. was literally on the floor. Not only did this movie deliver on shock factor, but it was really fun. I also met Addison Ray. She was really sweet. Eli Roth's really good at combining horror and comedy. If you've seen The Green Inferno, you already know. It's also one of 2023's highest rated horror films on Rotten Tomatoes. Basically, mm. after a Black Friday riot ends in tragedy, a mysterious Thanksgiving inspired villain named John Carver terrorizes Plymouth, Massachusetts. W horror movie villain. He doesn't give a fuck. I enjoyed every second of this. The actors did great. I definitely suggest checking this one out. Let me know what you think if you've already seen it. Imagine it's the year 2024 that. and COVID-19 has mutated into COVID-23. The world is in an endless lockdown and everyone infected is forced into quarantine camps. This movie is called Songbird, so let's watch the trailer together. Sarah, I'm not letting you give up. This is my Sometimes we have to do things we don't want to survive. I'm trying to save the one person left in my life mm. that matters to me. I can't help you. What you're talking about is illegal. Freeze. Gonna be alright. And remember, stay safe, sane, and sanitized. Hmm. Crazy, bro. Those freaking movies, man, based on cool, it always kind of gets me because you just don't even want to think the negative like that, bro. You don't want that something like that actually happen, Seekers. Seekers, man, that's it, man, for this video for you guys today. If you stay with me to the end of the video, you're a real one, man. True Seeker, man. Seeking the truth. I appreciate that. Like I said, man, guys, tell me in the comment section down below, guys, if you guys want me to start the Discord so you guys can send me um, your guys' TikTok clips and whatever you guys want me to... um review man i'm up to it if you guys want me to um so guys hit that like button man subscribe to the channel also hit that post notification bell so you always get notified when i drop a videos i'm trying to as you guys can see man i'm trying to do daily now and i'm sticking to it i'm out peace seekers